Hey everyone, Haskaha here with a potentially less practical and mostly useless Star Citizen tutorial, at least for the majority of players. For content creators, this may help add some variety to their in-game creations. And because many have asked how I achieved shots like this, holding a weapon inside an armistice zone, I figured a quick video walkthrough and explanation might be helpful. So stay tuned for how and some of the hiccups I found along the way. So what is this all about? If you didn't know, Star Citizen currently has safe zones called Armistice Zones, in which no player-controlled weapons can be fired, and no personal character weapons, like pistols and rifles, can be drawn out of their holsters or straps. Inside Armistice Zones, all players on foot are never allowed to pull a gun, and if you walk into an Armistice Zone with a gun drawn, it will automatically be holstered. So shots like this shouldn't be possible, but they are. First off, this probably is a fringe use case oversight, meaning CIG will most likely fix this eventually so don't expect this to work forever. Second, while this is still possible in the current Alpha 3.6 version that is in the PTU or public test universe, I ended up recording the footage for this tutorial in Alpha 3.5 on the live servers. And third, you still won't be able to shoot a gun in an Armistice zone using this trick, so don't worry about this trick turning Area 18 into a trolling bloodbath like the days of old with the Grey Cat buggy shenanigans. This is actually rather simple to perform, albeit time-consuming depending on where you are. The gist is, even though you can't draw a weapon in an armistice zone, you can always pick up and carry a weapon already inside the zone. That means you can pick one up off the ground, but who leaves weapons laying around? The easiest and most consistent method I have found is to use a ship that has a working weapon rack inside, like a 300i, Cutlass, Vanguard, Valkyrie, and so on. Start or fly the ship outside an armistice zone. Once you're able to fire your ship weapons, you know you're clear. Make sure you have the weapons you want to carry inside the armistice zone attached to your character. Then draw that weapon, walk over to the weapon rack, and hold the F key by default to interact with it. You should see a place option while using the interaction system. Click it. This will place your weapon on the rack. Now fly the ship down into the Armistice Zone. Before exiting your ship, go back to the weapon rack and interact with it again. Hovering over your place weapon, you should see stow and carry as options. Stow will attach the weapon back onto the player's back or holster if you're wearing a spacesuit, but carry will keep it in your hands. At this point, you're free to leave the ship. The vehicle exit and entry animations don't seem to break this carry trick, nor does opening doors, pressing elevator buttons, and so on. You can never actually draw your weapon, aim it, or fire it within the armistice zone. All you can do is carry it like this, drop it, stow it on your spacesuit, or place it back in the ship's weapon rack. You might notice that every so often my character will actually draw up the weapon for a split second, but that's some hiccup between the character movement and stopping animations. When the character is walking and then stops, the weapon might pop up like that, but then quickly go back into the carry position. It also seems to be impossible to use emote animations like salute, clap, point, and others while carrying a weapon in an armistice zone. If you activate your Moby Glass while wearing a spacesuit and carrying a weapon in an armistice zone, your character will automatically stow that weapon back in its holster or on your back. You will not be able to draw that weapon again unless you leave the armistice zone and repeat the whole process all over again. If you place a weapon on a vehicle's weapon rack and the ship is destroyed, you will lose that weapon. And even if the vehicle isn't destroyed, if you land and the landing system stores your vehicle, when you go to retrieve it, the weapons won't be there on the rack, you will have lost them. You can also use this method to carry weapons while wearing clothing instead of a spacesuit. The process is basically the same. And actually, without this trick, there is currently no possible way to stow a weapon while wearing clothing. You have to have a spacesuit on. The only difference to get this to work with clothing is that first you have to attach the weapon to your spacesuit while wearing a spacesuit, then place the weapon in the rack, then change into clothing, and then pick up the weapon. Not only does this trick allow you to carry a weapon while wearing clothing in an armistice zone, you can actually equip and fire the weapon outside the armistice zone while wearing clothing. Or nothing at all. Since clothing currently has no attachment points for stowing weapons, if you do anything that would usually cause you to stow a weapon, like activating your Moby Glass, that weapon will simply be dropped from your hands. And depending on your luck with object and surface collisions, the weapon might be waiting there on the ground to be picked up, or it may have already sank through the floor or ground. And that's it. Hopefully a few of you find this fun and or useful. Let me know in the video comments below if you have any questions, or if you discover any other interesting quirks or uses for this trick. Thanks for watching.